Here's the supplies I'm using today to make our net bag. I'm using Toss Snail 3mm by 200 meters that I did get on Amazon and I'll leave the link in the description box below. That's that little tiny arrow to the right and below the video click on that and that will bring up the description box. And you'll be needing scissors to cut your lengths, a tape measure. I picked up two S hooks from the dollar store. It was in the um, garden section actually and some painter's tape. And I've got a couple pieces of doweling here. This is the one I'm gonna wrap my work around. And this one I picked up at Michael's Craft Supply Store. And it has a circumference of 1.58 centimeters. And just another one, it doesn't matter what size it is. This is just to assist with adding your S hook and then a couple scrap pieces of string to attach it to your wall. And another item that you'll be needing is some double sided tape. And you'll also be needing a little bit of tape. Doesn't matter what the width is, just basic tape. I've just made a marking on my table, so this is one meter, and I've measured out three meters, and I'm going to be cutting 32 strands at three meters each. So here's my setup. I just had nails on my wall that had been there to hang my pictures, so just a couple of strings to hold the first piece of down. I've just put a bit of painter's tape to make this more secure. I've added my S hooks from the top bar to hold my second bar. Now what I'm going to do is add a piece of double-sided tape onto the bar here so it keeps these from sliding. And we've now got our tape on, so let's move our cords to the inside of the S-hook. And then when you move them in, just make sure that when you've got them positioned, that you've still got the same amount and they're even on both ends. So this one's just a little bit off. So I'll just give that a little bit of a pull and we'll straighten them up and we'll make sure they're all straight. I've just added a, a black piece of paper for the background just so it's easier for you to see what we're doing. And now we'll start our first row of square knots using four cords each and we'll work across the row. And here's your first square knot for demonstration. Two middle cords and your left and your right. Take your left, make a loop, hold with your thumb over the two middle cords. Now take your right cord, go behind, hold with your right, and pull through with your left. Cinch that right up to the top. Now we're gonna go right over, hold with your right thumb, left over, behind, hold with your left, and pull through with your right. And cinch it up, you've made a square knot. Carry on and continue your square knots across the row. We've got our first row of square knots done. So we're going to take our bar and roll it so the square knots are sitting on the top of our piece of doweling, like so. Now we're going to take two from this side and two from the back. Here's our middle cords and here's our side cords. So we're going to form a square knot. Again, left over, right over, behind.
behind and through. I'm going to cinch that right up underneath the bottom of this bar here. So our square knot sitting right underneath. And then the right, left over, and through. And now we've made our first square knot attaching the side of our bag right underneath, okay? And now coming back to the front, we're taking two strands from our square knot from the top here, and the two left ones from our next square knot. Again, here's our middle, left over, right over, and through. And we're gonna measure it so it comes up right to the bottom of our piece of dowel here. Next two, and next two. And again, carry on till you've finished your row. And the same when you get to this end, we're gonna take the two from this side and the two from the back side, finding your two middle cords Find your two outside cords, and again, a square knot. And we're going to form that square knot right on the bottom, right up to the dowel. And right over, and left over, and through. So find four pieces. We're still going to alternate through this whole bag. So let's come in the middle, take two from the left knot and the two left ones from this knot on the other side. Slide our piece of cardboard so the two middle cords are sitting on top. Just slide it through to the middle. And now we're going to make our square knot. First one will flop around a little bit till we get it secured and then we'll be set for the rest of them. So then just hold it up till we've got it right up to our piece of cardboard. And now we've finished our square knot at the right distance down. Now come in, here's our next two and here's our next two. So we're going to slide these two middle cords to the front and make our next square knot. And continue that for the whole row. So same thing, we've got our two cords here and taking two from the side of our bag. So here's our two, here's our middle again, and another square knot. And the same for the side. Here's two here, taking two from the end of our bag, finding our middle cords, and forming our square knot. We can take our cardboard out now and we're going to turn this to the other side. So just take your macrame off your S hooks, turn it to the back side. And let's work the back side now. Same thing we did before. We started our first row with bringing it right up to the bottom of our piece of doweling. So we'll do that again. And 
and work across the row. We've now finished our one row of square knots and we're going to start with our alternating on the next row again. So let's find four middle cords, take the two middle ones, place the cardboard behind, and we're going to make another square knot. Continue to do your square knots, grab the next four, bring your two middle ones to the front, and make your square knots. We finished that row, so we can just Take out the cardboard again and start another one. Starting from the middle. And again, always two from the front and working from two from the back side. Find your middles. And form the side of your bag. Same way you did the front. And again, the same on your ends. Take the last two and the two from the back side and find your middles. So it'll be these two here. And over we go with our square knot to finish off our side. Out comes the cardboard. Turn it around to the other side. And keep going exactly the same for every row. Not counting the top row, I've done 16 rows of alternating square knots. Each handle section will have four square knots that you're starting with. And this is the side of your bag, so make sure that you're, you're right in the front and you've got your four and four. So let's grab our first four here. Let's take our four middle cords. Instead of having the gap now, we're gonna come up nice and tight with our square knots. So this time we're gonna pull it right up tight. That's our first one. Grab the next two and our next two. Again, another tight knot right up to the top. And over to the other side. And that's our first row. We have now three alternating square knots in the middle. Now let's alternate again, starting from the middle. Grab these two and the next two. Alternate again.
So first row of alternating knots, we've got three square knots, and then we've got four square knots. Next row, let's start in the middle. Four chords, one square knot. And then on our sides here, we're going to have four chords in the middle and our two chords on the outside. So we're wrapping over four chords. And the same on the other side. Four chords in the middle and our outside chords. And now we're going to break this in half again. There's our middle. Next row, take four chords and make square knots with just a regular square knot. And on this side, a regular square knot just with the four chords. We're going to leave the sides for now. We're going to come in and do one square knot right into the middle here. There's our four chords from our last one square knot in the middle. Taking all your chords on the right side, we're wrapping around four chords again. Another square knot. And the same on the other side, wrapping around four chords. There's our three square knots. We're going to divide the middle square knot in half. And now we're going to wrap around six chords. Two, four, six. Another square knot. And the same on the other side. Wrapping around six chords. Back to the middle. Four chords, one regular square knot into the middle. Again, with that one square knot in the middle, Break that in half, and again, around six chords in the middle. And now we're going to do three square knots around all of these chords. Pull these nice and tight, really pull tight. And now you can see that these ends here are probably getting on the short side. So find two chords right on the very outside. That are longer. So now we're going to do a little switcheroo. These chords are going to come to the inside. And we're going to do one more square knot and wrap around all these chords. Come in and really pull down on all those chords just to bring it all together. 
After we've finished all our four sections for the first part of our handle, we're then going to do a wrapping by folding all of this together and wrapping this together. This is going to be really thick and I don't want a thick wrap. So what we're going to start doing is we're going to take away some of these strands. So hold on to your long ones, don't cut those ones, but now look inside and see if you can find some shorter ones. And it's good if you can take it out of the middle. And then once you've got your two middle strands, we're going to cut that right off close to the macrame. Now let's make another square knot with our outside cords around all those middle cords. Pulling really tight every time. Here's the first one. Let's find two more cords, some short ones that are sitting in the middle. Take these two is fine, and we're going to cut off two more. Again, come in again with another square knot. Pulling really tight. One more time, taking out two from the middle. And keep doing that until there's only six cords left all together. And now we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we still need to take out two more. And there you go. That's what we're going to do on every one of these. So copy this pattern and do it on all four sections. So now I'm going to take my net bag off of the rod, piece of dowling, and we're going to finish up the handles on the table. To finish off the bag, I decided to do a wrapping for the handle. That allows us to bring our loose ends together and then you wrap it in the middle. This is the depth that I've decided on for a shoulder strap. So from here to the beginning of my wrapping is 27 centimeters, about 10 and a half inches. The first thing I'm going to do is take all my ends and just tie them in a basic knot just to secure the last part of our square knots on our handle. So we'll just flip that around, pull your ends through. and hold on to the bottom of the knot so the knot stays right up, right underneath. So once you've got it positioned, pull down on all your strands and even up your knot. And the same on the other side. And then once you've got your knots done, what we're gonna do is bring all these cords Make sure they're nice and even and drape them over our other handle like so and then bring 
the other side, making sure that, again that they're nice and smooth. And then bring them over and drape them over top of the other strands, like so. Once we've got them the same length, I'm going to come in with some tape and we'll tape them together. And then position your cords so you can see where your wrapping is on your other handle. And I'm going to tape right to the end so I know how far to wrap down. And the same for the other side. So now I'm going to just put a little bit more tape in the middle here. So here's the part of the handle that we've taped. And here's the excess coming off the ends. So we're going to carefully cut these excess strands off right up to the edge of the tape. So my tape is right here and I'm going to cut all these extra strands off. Same on the other side. I've now cut a piece of cording that is two and a half meters long and I'm actually going to be wrapping for about 11 centimeters or that would be four and a half inches. We're going to have one piece of cord extend past your tape. This is where my tape is so I'm extending past about a couple inches. We're going to make a loop and bring this up and this loop will extend about two inches past my taped end. So I'll just do a little adjustment there. Okay, so once you've got your cord, you're going to place that on top of your handle. So this is where my tape is, and this is where I cut off those ends. I'm going to start my wrap just past that. So my first wrap will start right here. So hold on to my one little loose end here. And now my other end is going to start wrapping around. And like I said, I'll start just past where I cut. So there's my first wrap. We're just going to keep wrapping around and around. And your first wrap there, you can do a little bit on the tight side. But then when you get right onto the tape part there, loosen up a little bit and don't do it real tight. You want to be able to feel a little bit of sponginess when you're wrapping. And make sure that your wraps are just nice and close together. And just keep continuing and go around and around and around until you get to the other end. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're just going to take your end and pass it through the loop. Like so. Now you're just going to just place your finger there lightly. You're going to come down to the other end of your wrap where you got your strand here. So you're going to pull on this strand that you've left out and you see my loop here. When I pull, that loop is going to come inside the wrapping. So continue to pull a little bit more so that knots right down inside and nice and tight, just like so. So now we've secured our wrap. Here's our, our end here. 
So we're just going to trim that off close to the edge. And here's our other end that we started with that we're pulling on. And we'll just take that and cut that off close to the edge as well. Now you don't have to use a 6000. You can use another type of glue if you prefer, but I have this on hand, so I'm using it. And I'm using a toothpick so I can get into the ends here. I just want to secure this just a little bit more. I'm sure it's fine, but I like the idea that this is really going to stay intact. So just a little tiny bit of a squeeze for the end of the toothpick. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on that second layer and then push that back up. And then take some more and put it on your ends. And I'm just going to push a little tiny bit on the end of my toothpick, just barely a little bit. Just a little tiny bit of glue comes out. You're not going to need a lot, and I'm just going to go around my outside. And that just makes me happy to know that that is definitely going to stay in place. And there we go. Now this E6000 does take a bit of time to dry, so I would just let that sit overnight, and then you'll be good to go.